Okay, we're here with uh, Michael Sunley with Starry Mag. Cool up, tell the viewers at StarryMag.com who you are and what movie you have at the LA Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival. With pleasure, sir. Uh, this camera or that? Yes. This one right here. Hi, I'm Kalabi Lysak. I am a director, writer, performer, showrunner. My film here is Origin Story. It's a very autobiographical documentary. Great. And tell us a little bit about your background, where you grew up, ethnic background, sure. family. I'm curious to dive into that part. Let's, let's go. Let's okay. Go. Um, so my family is from Laos. Uh -huh. They are war refugees. I was conceived in a Thai refugee camp. I was born in Washington, D.C. I okay. grew up in Minnesota, of all places. Uh -huh. And I've been in Los Angeles for now for almost 21 years. And do you like the weather better there or here? I mean, of course it's here. <laughs> it is so cold yes. in Minnesota. Yes, that's, that's what I hear. It, it, it's, and then there's like two months where it's nice. <laughs> but then there's mosquitoes. Oh, there's also mosquitoes. There's 10,000 lakes. Oh my god. Like, big mosquitoes. So you were born where? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. And what made you um, end up in Minnesota? Well, my mom's uncle yes. already had a sponsor family in Minnesota. Got it. And so they, the Danielsons of Minnesota, of Anoka, Minnesota, uh, offered to house us and help us kind of transition, my parents transition to life in America. Got it. Got it. And what was the inspiration for Origin Story? I know it's your family, but get into it a little bit more. Yeah, the reason for me to finally... So, here, let me start here. At 14, uh -huh. my parents, they fought all the time. Like, right. Like, really bad fights. Mm -hmm. and I would sometimes be put in the middle of it. And in this particular night, I was on the family's Macintosh in their bedroom. My mom retreats, starts complaining to me about my father. Right. And I get along well with my dad. I think I take after him. I think I look like him. And I defend him. And she says, why are you defending him? He's not your real dad. And at 14, that's how I found out in this wow. horrible way. And then a little bit after, I hear that this person who I didn't know existed, uh -huh. that he was worried that I might want money from him and that right. he would rather not have a relationship with me. So I buried it. I was like, I'm not going to... For how many years did you bury it? Just, just a little, um, 20 years or so. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but how can that be when you're only 25? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, I, 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 we have these things, they come up again. And they, I really, I started to kind of hook my identity to this incomplete story. And, but then again, truly, sir, I did not ask questions. <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't. And it got to a point in my family where we were, my parents' separation had physically divided us in half. Right. My, my family's still in Minnesota. Right. And things with my mom, who we always had a fraught relationship with, it got worse. And then I, I had my first pregnancy and then my first miscarriage, and I just needed answers. I needed to put some sort of form to, to this dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And in a way, this was my way to like nest in preparation for a little one. Wow. So, did curiosity kill the cat? Your curiosity? You know, the thing about um, lifting boulders and digging underneath <laughs> it, like some things don't want to be uncovered. Right. And there are family secrets. And in an Asian American family, as you know, it's like we're not, we're not talking about feelings. You keep it suppressed. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Which can manifest in, in other ways. ways. Yes. Creativity. Sure. Or anger. Or anger. <laughs> <laughs> just being able to dip into the anger whenever asked. Yes, <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. That gave you the that gave you the energy to like find out more, right? Yeah, the fuel. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My exactly. nuclear energy. Um, yeah, I. It. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It's it's this. This whole project was so unnerving because it's one thing to tell my story yeah. and, and to air my dirty laundry, but to to do, to, to my family as right. well. Right. Right. I mean, it's still 
care. <laughs> so that leads me to my, my next question. How did they react when they found out about this wonderful film of yours? I mean, they're, they're a part of it. Um, right. And, and are on camera. Um, I, think, I don't think anyone... I hadn't done a film before or a film like this. So mm -hmm. I think there's... You know, yeah, they were interviewed, but who knows how it'll end up. Who knows if it'll become something, right? Right, right. Um, so they've seen... Everyone's seen it. And my fear was that they would hate it. Mm -hmm. But they don't. They... I can't say that they... That it's not a comedy. <laughs> so it's not like... <laughs> like, you know... But I do think it is a poem to my family. To my parents. Um, and I think us talking about this stuff and through through this, I don't know if I would exactly recommend it for other people, but I will say that there is a closeness and a freedom and a weight lifted from us. That's great. So there's a clearing now. Is there a clearing? There is a clearing. Yeah. So there's room now for other stuff to get in there and complicate our lives, right? With family and stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. But that's nice, right? At least it's not the same thing. Exactly. It's new, it's new crap. Yeah. It's new <laughs> crap. Because variety is the spice of life, whether it be crap or... Spice. Or sp <laughs> spice, exactly. <laughs> so do you think you'll do another film? Um, yes. But not another documentary about myself or Your my next family. thing is going to be a uh, narrative? Yes. Uh, and and um, I also did uh, create a show called Bajillion Dollar Properties that yeah. ran for three seasons. That's great. So now I'm looking for um, developing a, a new show, which I hope to be in the dramedy space. That's great. Yeah. That's great because we love dramedies. <laughs> so how much in dollars is a bajillion dollars? <laughs> um, it's comically more than a bazillion. Okay. Wait, so bajillion is more than bazillion? I think so. Okay, I got it mixed up. Well, because I think it's billion, then bazillion, right. and then bajillion. But because it's comedic, there's a lot of monopoly money in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm from, Hawaii, yes. we call it uku million. Uku million. That guy has uku million dollars. That means he has, you know, unlimited source of cash and credit. I mean, I wish that for you. I wish that for me. So, what's next for you? Uh, next for me is uh, the the documentary is out on Amazon uh -huh. May 10th. Mm -hmm. I'm developing, uh, so that means early stages of developing a new show. That's great. Uh, Can you tell us about that? Well, or? it's an Asian American lead. Great. But no, this is early stuff, so I'm putting Got together it. a pitch, so it's not quite... So I want to do more of that. I want to do more narrative work. And Thank you. Thank you. Because we need yeah. stories like that. I want more to do more show running, more creating, more writing. I like to create worlds. And I'm not so much interested in being in front of the camera. Right. Pull back. <laughs> right, but you're doing very well right now in front of well, the camera. Look, you're going to have to get used to it. I'm, I'm sorry. A, I'm a trained actor. It's part of, part of the deal, right? I'm a trained Let actor, <laughs> and I'm leaving it behind. <laughs> <laughs> so what advice do you have for other artists out there, especially artists of color? Tell your story. Tell your story, and don't do it in a vacuum. Show it to people. Because when you tell your story, when we tell our story, then people feel seen, and it encourages them to do it as well. Great. So besides Amazon, is Origin Story at any other festivals that we can check out in uh, person? Well, this is the end, this is the end of my run. I've been doing it for a year. Wow. So we were okay. the camp. We I, I was the world premiere was at Bentonville Film Fest. Right. And then at Camp Fest, we won the Audience Award. Um, we've traveled everywhere. And, you know, we're in Toronto, Seattle, Twin Cities, but. Now that it'll be out on Amazon. So how, how many uh, frequent flyer miles do you have now? I mean, I keep using them. So <laughs> <laughs> For upgrades or just to get on the flight? I mean, come on. Like, this is it's indie filmmaker life. We got to <laughs> cash these things in. I mean. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> do they still give peanuts? I, I don't know. Sometimes pretzels. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And depending well, on the airline. And sometimes when you fly Hawaiian Airlines, if you ever go to Hawaii, they give you uh, macadamia nuts. So chocolate macadamia amazing. nuts. Yeah. Do you miss it? I do. As I get older, I miss it more. I only miss it usually when I'm there. When okay. I'm here, I don't miss it because I don't really have time to miss it. But when I'm there, I'm like, yeah. And I think it, I feel like it's calling me back. It's heaven on earth. It really 
yeah. Yeah, yeah. So everyone asks me, you know, why am I why I'm here? But yeah. I'm like, because I I'm For an work, actor. Right? Yeah. yeah, I'm an actor, so it's like uh, yeah. you gotta not, not that you have to be here, but you kinda this do. is kind of the mecca, right? You, you do. So, and I can always go back home. I feel so lucky about that. That's that I can cool. always end up back home where other people don't want to go back home. I told you I'm from Minnesota. So, <laughs> so you, you call Minnesota home then, right? I call LA home. Okay. I mean, I've been here for, in July, it'll be 21 years. Oh my god, so, so you moved here after high school? Or? 18, so fresh. <laughs> so fresh. Less fresh now. You look great. Who's, who's you. your doctor? No. He does good work, right? He does good work. 39 in a week. So wow, fun. happy birthday. Haoli Lahanao, they say in Hawaii. That's happy birthday. Thank you. And I'll Mahalo. find you on social media. Yes, What's your please. social media? My social media, at Kulap on Twitter, at mm-hmm. I am Kulap on Instagram. Got that? Yeah. They got that. K U L A P. Standard spelling. <laughs> you know how to pronounce it. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> okay, I think we got that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hope I see you in closing. Later.